Hey YouTube, I'm Maxter99 and now I'm showing you my new web browser, or actually it's not new anymore, Max Explorer V8.1. It's still called V8. It starts up a little faster for some reason, I'm not sure if that's just because I've had it on here for so long. Um, when you download this, it won't be this big. I accidentally, um, when I was working on it, I accidentally dragged everything down. Like, there was a panel, this is a panel got down here and it dragged my program down too because everything's docked um yeah I'll fix that soon I haven't gotten to it yet um the newest button add blocker settings I don't have anything in here because I've got nothing to block but I'll make a demonstration as you see I got better at designing it'll block any website with the word you in its URL watch I'll hit OK. And there it is. I can also remove it, but I'll do that in a second. Now, it won't be activated until you close it, because on form closing is event is when it fires the uh, update. So you click X, it updated, and so watch when I try to go to YouTube. Watch down here. I'm using my laptop's mouse now, because I kind of broke it. Block the illegal pop-up. Now, if I go and remove that, Yeah, I, my mouse kind of got broken. Uh, I smashed this USB connector thing down. And it was plugged in once by accident. And now it's about to go to YouTube. Watch the program status. And it should work. That's kind of odd. This is still beta because... Uh, Um, you might have to restart the program sometimes. I'll be working on this. I'm not going to post it up until I have this thing 100% working. Um, I'm sorry for a little bit of glitches right now, but, um, now watch, I think I can go to YouTube now. Yeah, see, now it lets me go to YouTube. And next time I'll fix that, it's just kind of, uh, beta. Next time I'll update it when you click a button you want to close it to update it. But um Yeah, bye I guess. Uh um oh yeah, there's also a thousand predefined websites that you can't delete. It's like ad.yieldmanager.com and stuff like that. Uh here's some of the list. See? I got this off a website, like just the URLs, and I'd like extract them. I made a program that added this a dot add and the parentheses and the quotation marks and stuff, C just because I didn't want to do a dot add and paste it at each and every single one. But when I did that, the lines were like this, and I was like, "Oh no, you!" So I each e for each and every one, I had to bit hit backspace, like cons like right where that thing was, I had to hit backspace took me about eight hours to do this but I did that a while ago I think it's in v8 too um I added a little bit to it and uh it's pretty cool and now if you pm me and you subscribe make a nice comment you know what you get you get free Microsoft Office 2010 you just got to uh also you get power ISO to download it I'll send you the ISO that I made with a disk and I'll send you an unlimited serial key, and uh, there you have it, Microsoft Office 2010. Um, so just subscribe, rate. F well, I don't think you can rate it anymore. Thumbs it up and uh, nice comments. Um, I guess I'll see you later. I'm kind of bored. Probably do some more work right now. Uh, actually, I think I'm just gonna pause this and do a little bit of work. I will be back to you soon. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Bye. Okay, I did a little bit of editing. Um, wait, I can't. You can't see that code. Oh, you're. You saw it anyways. Whatever. Um. Yeah. Now that'll be better for your download. And as for this, 
See, I dragged it down. Just like I didn't even check this earlier. I just kind of knew it happened. Oh, by the way, you know that full screen button that stretches across? I'll be fixing that soon or sooner or later. But uh, bye, and I really have to go to the bathroom.